Hi, I'm Patty Duffner. Welcome to Rick Rack, a new show on VirtueRadioNetwork.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a reversible half apron, just like the one I'm wearing here today. I'm going to show you how to do it, just walk you right through it. What we're going to do first on the reversible half apron is cut the pieces that we need. We need two body pieces at 17 inches top to bottom and 26 and a half inches from hip to hip. And then the waistband is four and a half inches wide, the length of the fabric. So I'm not going to be too concerned about that, but you actually need two of those cut because you need to have enough to go around your waist. What I'm going to show you right now is a tip on how to cut. You get the fabric from yardage from the fabric store, but then you get it home and you think, she wants me to cut it 17 by 26 and a half. How am I going to do that? So I want to show you a tip or a technique that I like to use to measure, 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 and then cut the fabric. I like to fold it in half and then in half again. The cut that they make at the fabric store, I don't want to I don't want to rely on that being a perfect edge, but this fold, if you can feel it in there and you've got a crease at an even edge, that you can guarantee is an, is an exact line. Using a cutting mat, which I always use this self-healing cutting mat, put your folded edge right on one of those lines like I have here. So what you want to do is line up your horizontal and your vertical lines on the mat Put your finger on here, line it up, and push down on this left hand. And then you want to just roll it on through. After you make your cuts, you want to put the right sides together. What I'm going to do is sew on three sides, the left side, the bottom, and the right side, leaving the open at the top. This right now I'm not going to pin just because I know it's all measured up and cut correctly. I'm not going to worry about it too, too much. But when we do the waistband, I, I definitely pin that. Just doing a simple straight stitch. I like to sew in a quarter of an inch. It just gives me enough room to play. It also is a nice seam allowance for, for flattening things. If you haven't got a sewing machine yet and you've always wanted to or you're thinking about it, I would recommend just getting a basic machine. Don't feel the need to get one with all the bells and whistles right now. Just so that you can get the straight stitch down to maybe hem, hem some pants or sew on some patches for your Boy Scout or Girl Scout that you have. Um, those machines will do wonderful things, this project especially, but also your everyday basic sewing needs. Those types of machines will work great for. Okay, so here we are coming up to the end. Like to go forward, hit the reverse, just go back a few stitches and then go forward again. I haven't cut my thread at all. I just keep going around on all three sides. Just keep it all attached. Just Everybody's busy out there and I know you guys don't want to take up too much time to make these kind of fun projects or gifts. But I like to do when I'm doing a square like this is to take the edge and actually snip it at a diagonal so that you can get a perfect straight edge once you pull it through. What I love about doing a lot of things like this is that you've got a finished edge here. You're not stuck with having to turn things around and around and it's just a finished edge. Next to the sewing machine, my favorite tool has to be the iron when I use sew when I do a lot of sewing projects. And that's because it looks a little poofy now, but we're going to iron it and it's going to just lay flat and perfect. I want to teach you a tip on how to get that corner real sharp like I was talking about. You want to take your scissors and shut them. Use the point you could also use a pencil, chopstick, something like that, and just really poke it, poke it through with your scissors just to get that tip pulled out. Now don't let me fool you, I don't iron my children's clothes, but <laughs> the ironing does happen on the, on the sewing projects. I get clothes for them that don't need to be ironed, but 
I just find it so much easier to sew and make things when you have your iron hot and ready and just sitting right next to your kitchen table with you. After your body is all ironed out and flipped through ready to go, I'm going to show you how to do the waistband. What we're going to do is we have two pieces here. We are going to put the right sides together again. Quarter inch seam. Sew straight through. Make sure when you end here that you always end with your needle up. You pull it out and you just cut it with, mine has a self cutter on it or you can use your, your scissors to trim it too. So now we have the one straight long band. This is our waistband that we had originally cut four and a half inches by the length of the fabric. I'm not worried about matching up the, the pattern or anything. I just want to use all the fabric I can use on this. I know where the center of this waistband is because I just sewed it. So now I'm going to find the center of my body which is here. I just simply fold it in half and kind of pinch it with my fingers so I know that this is the center. Not very technical, I know, but just the way that I, I do, the, do the sewing projects. I'm now going to take my waistband and go right sides together again for the body and the right sides together of the waistband. I'm lining the center up with the center. This is where I am going to start pinning. I'm working with multiple layers of fabric. I like to pin from the top down and all of them going in one direction so that when I do sew through it's going to be real easy for me to pull them out. Start from your center and go out on the right and then out on the left. We're going to now sew the waistband to the body. I'm just going to start at the edge of the waistband. You can see that right here, the edge of the waistband and the edge of the body. I'm sewing all three layers together, quarter inch seam again. I never sew over my needles. I just don't think it's a good idea. You can, yeah, but I don't. I just pull it right out. Okay, we're getting to the end of the waistband for the body. Now we are going to be doing some serious ironing. We could either iron or pin it. I choose to iron it because it, it seems to be quicker for me and if I can't get a project, project done fairly quickly, it tends to drag on and on. I get a little more frustrated. So you want to sew down that quarter inch that we just, or iron down that quarter inch that we just sewed and that is going to be your guideline for the rest of this. You see this? How it goes up a quarter inch? That's how we're going to just kind of eyeball it and then iron it. So we are ironing that down so that we don't have to pin it and it's going to be a lot simpler for us to get that nice finished edge we want. We not only do it to this side of the waistband, but we're also going to do it to this side of the waistband. After you're all finished ironing your quarter inch seams up there, you're going to take it over to your machine. What we're going to do is fold it up right into that seam right there. Do you see that? The first one that we sewed. You're going to take this part that we folded under and put it right up into that and we're going to pin it. Do that across the whole waistband. Sew all the way straight through, all the way to both sides. When you're at the very end, what you want to do is fold it up once and then go from this corner to the sewed edge. It makes a nice little point. And what you're going to do is then sew it down on the machine. And I kind of did it a little bit more whimsical so you don't have to worry about doing a perfect straight edge. It just miters it in. Another fun idea I did, I scaled this project down and we'll put those measurements on the link as well, but I made one for my daughter. I let her pick out the fabric. Now we have little matching aprons. One in the size for Ella. She's a six-year-old little sous chef in our house. It's reversible. She picked her fabrics, 
three different fabrics, same idea on how to attach the waistband, how to finish the edge, everything is exactly the same, just scaled down a little bit. She cannot wait to wear it. Thank you for watching Rick Rack on VirtueRadioNetwork.com.